have a pen. Forget it. Brighton, you're losing your touch. I'm Maxwell Sheffield. This is my son, the late Brighton Sheffield. Wait, I know you. Esquire magazine, New York's 10 most eligible widowers? My condolences, by the way. Uh, you read Esquire? When they list the 10 most eligible widowers, I do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fran Fine. Well, do come in. Oh, boy, do you have gorgeous tchotchkes. Um, thank, thank your pardon. Uh, oh, you know, your bric-a-brac, dust collectors? Ah, the Rodin, yes. Well, he was, uh, he was well known for his bronze tchotchkes. <laughs> May I see your resume, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Crayon? Lipstick. Of course. And what a lovely shade. <laughs> I hate her. Now, Brighton, let's not be hasty. Yeah, I haven't even sung Climb Every Mountain yet. Uh, Miss Fine, you seem to have listed the Queen Mother as a reference. Well, let me see that. Oh, no, that's not the Queen Mother. That's my mother from Queens. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Maggie. Hello, Father. Oh, boy, are you gorgeous. And look at that hair. You see, now, you cannot get color like that from out of a bottle. No way. <laughs> I'll be in my room doing my homework. Hmm. Really lights up a room, doesn't she? <laughs> you don't need personality when you're an heiress. She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door, she was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more. She had style, she had flair. She was there. That's how she became the nanny.